As you can see and feel and hear, there is an extra fun feeling in the studio today, and that is thanks to our mini studio audience made up of awesome Studio 5 viewers who promise us they aren't scared to share an opinion. Is that right? Yes, yeah. they came ready to go. We're counting on that because we're asking them to weigh in on today's style topic. When the seasons change, so do our closets, and so every season we turn to Studio 5 style and fashion contributor Emily McCormick to give us a few reasonable updates to our wardrobe. These are the small ads and improvements that will help keep us current, help keep us on trend. We love to turn to Emily always for her opinion. So today we asked her to focus in on spring's best five. Everybody welcome Emily to the studio. Thank you, yay, happy to be here. These are either gonna be your friends or your I selling crowd. I was looking, eyeing them on my way in like, this is a tough crowd. They're gonna, take, they're gonna be hard on me, I can feel it. So spring's we'll best see. five, in other words, we asked you to pin down the five favorite trends that you are seeing this season. Mm. And I have to say, maybe it's because I can't shop in the regular section anymore. <laughs> Spring fashion looks really fun right now. It's so fun. And I was going to say, sometimes we see these tiny shifts, like variations and little things. Like the heel went from kind of big to like super chunky. Not this season. It is like really quite new and quite fresh and a big departure from what we've seen. So fun time to buy. It's a fashion turnover. Yeah, it also is. a fun time to get some opinions. Did you wear your big girl pants yeah, today? Are you ready? I wore my big girl pants. <laughs> You're ready. ready for whatever they yes, have. Yes, I guess I am. All right, scooch this way okay. and let's point out this first trend, which you say might catch people off guard a little bit. You are recommending the culotte for spring 2018. Yeah, there are a few things that I'm kind of, I wonder how people are going to receive it. The culotte is one of them. So this is a high-waisted, a couple details about this culotte. High-waisted, so it's t hitting your belly or higher but then it's cropped, right? And super wide leg, almost like a skirt. It's the old fashioned culottes that we saw when we wore like a spree in elementary, you know? Oh my gosh, did you just say a spree? A spree. A spree. I miss a spree. Yeah, I miss, a spree was the best. So now we have like an updated version of this. But the thing I like about it is that it's a little bit sophisticated. And before I let people vote, I am going to address the question that is on everyone's mind, what shoes do you wear with it? What shoes? And you can see in this graphic, you are seeing flats. People can do loafers, sneakers. But really, for the average woman, because it does it does shorten you. I'm going to give you that. It shortens you a tiny bit just having that super wide leg yeah. and the crop. So any kind of a heel, like a wedge or a heel, is going to look fabulous with this. Yeah, you think how we struggled when the pants got shorter, the skinny pants got shorter. <laughs> yeah. We were like, what do we wear? And this now they're like this game. wide gaping circus tent, right? Yeah, they're big. I gotta tell you though, this is pretty chic and pretty cool. Are we ready to vote? We are ready to we vote. Are ready Let's to hear pull? it. All right, cool lot. Spring fashion, no or go. Ladies, what do you think? <gasps> hey, Ooh. it's a mouth split. It's a mouth split. And yeah. you stay here. We'll you stay 50, here. 50. Hold those votes. Hold those votes. I'm going to come over here. Hold it up. I'm seeing a lot of green. You guys are bold. I like it. What do you like about the idea of this trend? Um, I liked the esprit comment because it took me back. <laughs> <laughs> and we said esprit and what only, is the, all over. only the cool kids were esprit. Only the cool kids. Do you want to be a cool kid? I Here, we're going to hook you up with a, a gift certificate to do clothing. That's where Emily got those Yay. darling culottes. Thank you. So you can shop a pair of your own. Thank you. And be the cool kid. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Good voting. Good voting. All right, Em, what's trend number two? Okay, trend number two will probably be a little bit more exciting for people. This is a floral dress, and I get asked constantly what should people wear during the spring? So, how do I transition? transition gracefully into spring being a woman right because sometimes these like long mom shorts we do this segment every other year the you know shorts. the mom shorts like yeah. how can we make them cute right but really the best way to transition into like a hot summer day is a dress yeah and it's starting now with spring so the dress this season we've seen floral around for a little while but it's this crepey floral fabric so people are pretty comfortable crepey is just kind of um has some texture to it it's a little bit bent, like, like crepe paper yeah, yeah. So, also, um, some structure to it, right? Yeah, it's got a little structure to it, and especially the way that this is kind of uh, built at the shoulders and around the neckline, you can see that it does give you a little bit of structure. But this is definitely a spring trend. You are seeing these everywhere. All different color variations and different florals. Like some are loud and bright, some are super simple and subdued, but by now we're just accepting like floral is a part of our lives. Yes. So, can we like do it in a dress? And there isn't a scale you recommend or a color you recommend if you're wanting to update your closet with this floral pattern for spring? I think if we say, okay, do a dress, do a floral dress, then it's really, people can use that, like that's where you have your input, right? If you love black with like a really bold blue, flower gray, or if you like white and simple, you've got a lot of flexibility in your floral this season. I think this is gonna be an easy green. I, do I mean, I don't wanna persuade see. anyone. Maybe we're wrong, I don't know. Let's take a vote. What do you think, you guys? The floral dress for spring? Green, right. green, 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 green. Okay, I'm 
going to make my way over here. Now you know why I'm coming, and now you all want to be my friend, right? Why do you like the idea of a floral dress? Um, I just think it's very fresh and springy, and I think floral looks good on pretty much everybody. And it's feminine, right? It's kind of a way to embrace our feminine side, but that dress is so grown up. That yeah. dress is by Dew Clothing. Would you like it? Uh, yeah. Here you go. A little gift card to Dew Clothing. Thanks for Thank your opinion. You. Everyone's going to be really eager to vote the next couple of days, I think. I think. All right, and give it to us. Trend number three. Okay, our third trend is the oversized blazer, and there are several variations on this. We brought in one that is hits about the knee. And what it is, is it's a great piece. It's a great transition piece for spring. It's so cute. It is cute. It's super fun. And um, and they come in a wide variety. I mean, you've got the real true like 1980s actual bla blazers, double breasted, huge shoulder pads kind of thing going on right oh, now. Wow. Totally acceptable like what this season. Like my mom season. ordered from Chadwick's. I'll bring that name back Chadwick's, too, right? Chadwick's, yeah. <laughs> bring Newport it back. Newport News and bring Chadwick's catalogs. <laughs> totally. You can just put, dig through your mom's closet. Yeah. They're there. Um, or you have this that looks a little bit more like that kimono style, like the robe style yes. that we're seeing. Yes. So you can do one or the other. But the idea is to be able to wear it like a jacket. You know, don't, you, it's part of your outfit for sure, but don't be afraid to wear it like a jacket. Take it on and off. We're seeing a couple other styles the, the first one is is the same and then you've got like a stripe that you a clean crisp white one you can wear it like that without a shirt under, nope. you know wear as your shirt as the actual blouse yes where am i wearing this so this it depends on which one you get like if you're going with a high-waisted jean and a t-shirt under this is like with friends you know this is you could do it to a play date you could do it with a to a ladies luncheon something like that something okay. simple okay or if you're getting like a true double breasted blazer I mean that's a little dressier so maybe that's like a night out with a hubby or uh -huh. a ladies night something like that and is this something you would invest in or is this kind of a come and go that you'd say pick up a disposable piece and call okay it I think if you're doing good question I think if you're doing kind of the more casual robe type uh -huh. Uh -huh. um, come and go. Disposable. This is definitely disposable. Okay. Spend, um, you know, 50 bucks, whatever, you know, whatever. Is Target, H&M, do clothing. Any of these are fine for that. Okay. Um, um, but if you're getting a more structured one, you, you'd want it to look structured. So you'll have to spend a little a bit A little more. bit more. Stay put. Stay put. Let's vote. Spring fashion, nowhere go. I'm seeing some skeptical faces. <gasps> oh, I think we're a little less than split on this one. And does it surprise you? No, not at all. No. I thought this one would be a little bit split. This a little, one's a little bit, bit hard divisive. to sell. It is divisive. I'm seeing more red than green. But you went green immediately. How come? <laughs> well, I think I just love how versatile it is. You can wear it, you know, on a job or just out with friends. And I love the pattern and summery feel so if that was in your closet right now where would you wear it oh i'd wear it downtown salt lake yeah baby oh. a little lunch out with girlfriends <laughs> yes. okay we've got a card for you here i think we're seeing a lot of great ones at banana republic so we'll send you there and start off your shopping trip with a little kickstart does that sound okay great way to go Thank thanks for voting you. emily what do we got next Okay, so our next piece is actually a coordinating set, and this is the one that I am for sure the most nervous about. Oh, sell um, it. Sell acceptance. It, if I can get one green, I'm considering that a success. <laughs> so uh, this is is a top and bottom matching outfit. So just like we kind of transitioned into the jumpsuit, which was a one piece, like Brooke is wearing a yes, lovely jumpsuit yes. today. Which I told um, the audience before the show. Yeah. Remember a year ago we were talking about jumpsuits, oh. and I was like, I don't think I can. And then oh, Q yeah. Emily leans over and says, I'll see you wearing that. Six and here I am. And she's here. That could be there coordinated set. So that is exactly what this is. It's, it's essentially the newer version of a jumpsuit. So it's two separate pieces, but it matches just like a jumpsuit would. So we're showing you some kind of, these are the conservative styles, believe it or not. I have no idea where people will fall on that scale. But the ones we're seeing, these like creams and reds are conservative. You're seeing these in full on floral, like really? huge florals floral pants, like oversized everything, but separate top and bottom. Yeah. You can do it with a skirt and a top or not, or it's pants and a top, usually pants and a top. Yeah, pretty clever of you not to pull the floral example yeah. for your file set. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just saying. Oh wait, Brick, did you say we're gonna vote? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll send these in. Ladies, let's vote. What do you think? Be bold here, yes or no? Oh my gosh, oh, what? Yeses. Look, well we yeah. love it when Kate Middleton wears them, yeah. right? Why can't, why can't we be a princess too? Why, why not? I'm gonna sneak back here, green light, green light, red. A lot of reds right there. <laughs> but you said green, why do you like the look? We used to wear that. <gasps> really? Yes. <laughs> Did you wear the floral combination? Little floral. Little floral. Yes, but, you... but they're comfortable. Yes. They're cool. 
they're two separate pieces. Yes, <laughs> people listen thinking, to her. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> She's with you. I gotta think an automatic way to feel chic and polished, right? Yes, and All they're right. comfortable and they're they're versatile. We're gonna kickstart your bring back with a gift certificate to Nordstrom. Yeah. We're seeing thank a lot of you. cute ones there. You're welcome. I liked your passion on that one. All right, one <laughs> one minute left. Emily, give us your fifth and final spring trend. Okay, so our last spring trend is actually this sling back shoe, and everyone has worn this before. It's kind of a return to something that we're used to seeing, but it's coming in hard this season. The thing that I love about this is that it can be a statement or a staple. So this is either you buy one that is a staple that you're gonna wear over and over and over and over again with every single outfit, with shorts, with a skirt, with a suit, with, you know, whatever you're going to. Or you can get something like this middle pair of yellow shoes that Classy. are really statement. Yeah. So you're wearing jeans and a white t-shirt and those shoes and you don't need to do anything That's else because they're need. so statement. Guess what, I can't take the pressure anymore. I'm putting this in your hot little hands. Walk with me. Okay. Let's vote, spring We're fashion. doing this together. No, we're, we're doing this together. The sling backs. Emily, where are we going? Where are okay, we going? Okay, okay. <gasps> Okay, okay, I see someone very excited waving oh, their oh, sign Oh, she's got enthusiasm. You are hot on this. You, you. target for a pair of sling What backs. color are you going for? I'm gonna reach. The yellow. The yellow yeah. blazer. Yeah. All right, Emily McCormick, everybody, cutest. paddle down. Worthy of a Yay. round of applause. You can miss always. It's so stylish and, and Thank you so much.